Welcome to MoCo, my name is Stephanie Palomino. When you think about a hospital, you have a picture in mind, it's grey, it's sad and can be even a little bit scary. There's a person is envisioning a hospital like a totally different place, like in Star Trek. So Bart, how this looks like? Well, the, the hospital of my future that I envision is going to be an environment where everything is digitalized, all devices are integrated and where the hospital is driven by digital cognition and where humans and patients, and nurses um, and doctors interact in very natural ways. So keyboards will disappear and what will happen then? How will we interact with the, with the environment? Well, keyboards are something that is going to disappear because the way how we brought IT into hospitals is that humans needed to structure and everything and put it into keyboards. Now we have technology that understands language, understands videos, uh, where medical devices can be integrated so we can process or ingest that data very differently. If you look at today's hospitals, the nurse is only 30% of the time on the patient. So if we can reduce that 70% of administration, coordination and documentation and optimize that and give it back time to patients, I think we create an environment that is a way better environment for these nurses as well for the patients to work in. So you just said prediction. So what happens when the computer is making a wrong prediction? Well, if you look at healthcare today, then um, while well, we are not in a predictive mode, we are in a reactive mode. If you look at a the hospital, there's an alarm, the nurse runs to that room because there was an alarm going off. So what we actually can do is really start predicting, for example, a sepsis 24 hours earlier. The nurse would get assisted and say, like, you have to go into room 3 or 1 and then she's going to have to um, intervene. And she's not going to be reacting, she's going to be preventing an onset. And these systems are not deterministic, they are probabilistic, so we will see that the systems will tell that there is an 80% chance of a sepsis. So in which year you predict this vision of a hospital will be there? Today we already have elements of it. We have um, partly developed already systems in intensive care units that exactly do that. But a hospital is an organization, so to put it on an organizational level, that's going to take a while. Um, I predict that in five years from now we will have first clients that will demonstrate part of the hospital being fully transformed into a cognitive hospital. Uh, but as with self-driving cars, this will be a, a journey that is probably going to take 10 to 15 years to develop. So I'm very curious to see this vision comes true and hope you see us soon.